Hey guys, welcome back to another grocery haul. It is a, uh, I'm looking around, it doesn't actually feel it look like it was that much bigger, but price-wise it felt like it was bigger than normal. Um, I did go to Lidl and Aldi for groceries. I did go to Walmart and got quite a few like toiletry items, which was so expensive. But um, some of these things I want to buy for a while, like my shampoo and conditioner are like huge, so I don't have to buy them for a while. Um, and we do use kind of particular items because we both kind of have sensitive skin. So you don't really want to venture out to something new once you've found something that works, but that sometimes costs more. So I'm probably going to actually do some research and see if I can find some other places to buy some of these items. But nonetheless, I went shopping today. If you are new here, I usually have a pretty good stocked uh, freezer and pantry and we're still in that pretty good but there's a few things that I just haven't bought in a while so I had to kind of buy more of them well I didn't have to I like to just buy more of them we do our budget for the month so it's kind of like I battled with like oh maybe I can just buy a little bit this time and a little bit next time I'm like if it's all in the same month it doesn't matter it all comes out of the same monthly budget so anyways let's get to the haul all right, so I am going to start with my Walmart haul. It was um, some shampoo and conditioner, two bottles of the Castile soap. I do use this for our hand soap in a pump dispenser, mostly water, and then like a squirt of this, like maybe a tablespoon or two. Um, and then I also use it for my body wash. So I got two. Um, I use different scents for different things, and they just don't always have them. So I bought them. Three bars of the soap. Again, sometimes they have like a bunch of them sometimes they have like one of them or none of them so i bought three i needed some spray paint for a project and they did not have their cheapest one so i got like a good one which is probably better because it'll go further and i actually really wanted red for the project but i didn't know that i would use the rest of the spray spray paint for like another project so i'm just gonna paint it white um i bought some peroxide i was i'd used a bunch of this i use it for cleaning but I also obviously use it for like, you know, treating wounds. And I'd use quite a bit of it when I was uh, treating my lip, when I busted my lip and I was cleaning it like three times a day, which I think that helped it heal very well. So I'm glad I did that along with some other things. But And then some of the Tom's sensitive toothpaste for my husband. I buy other toothpaste and stuff and mouthwash from Young Living, if you're familiar with them. So you never see that in my hauls. At Dollar Tree, I picked up these lighted masks, these light up masks. I'm hoping they, that the light up works, but um, I bought these from the Dollar Tree. I just have, I don't have a ton of toys, but I have a little bit of a like dress up container for when we have company that stays with us with children. And I just, it, obviously Dollar Tree at Halloween time is a great time to look for them. So I just grabbed a couple more things that I thought would be cute. We don't have any, I don't even know when they'll be coming back to stay with us, but I just picked them up. And then I did run into Food Lion for candy corn. My husband's been enjoying this to snack with them, but I also want to make a recipe with them. So I think the recipe video will probably be out before the grocery haul. If it is, I will link it for you. Um, and I was, I had skipped all the other stores that I went to prior and didn't even look for candy corn because I was just going to pick it up at Aldi. And then they didn't have it. And Aldi was my last stop because that's where I would buy most of my food. So I ran into Food Lion for that. Um, I'm going out of order from where I did my shopping, but it doesn't really matter. This is my Lidl haul. I picked up some whipped topping. I picked up some of these. I can't remember what kind of apples they were, but this was a pretty good, this was the cheapest price. It was $1.19 a pound um, and we needed some fruit. I picked up some of this breakfast sausage. I think Aldi might carry the same brand. I mean, I know the package says Lidl, but anyways, um, I'm not a huge breakfast sausage person, but my husband is, and I've been, I, I enjoy this one pretty, pretty well. Um, and it's cheaper than bacon. Um, and it has like no nitrates or nitrates added, um, no preservatives, that kind of thing. So these were on sale. I got two of the regular and two of the maple to try. They were on sale for two for $4. So, um, I just try to buy them when they are. I will divide each package into two separate packaging and then freeze it. Um, that way it's just like enough for us for a meal. I grabbed some sweet potatoes and some onions and then some lettuce, tomato, and cucumbers. All right. So here is my Aldi haul. I pretty much just buy meat if it's on sale. So if you don't see a lot of that in here, that's why we have some in the freezer. 
I picked up some almond milk, one each of the unsweetened vanilla, unsweetened original, and chocolate. I have not bought this in a while because we weren't drinking it as much, so I kind of took a break from it, but then my husband was like, hey, are we not doing that anymore? <laughs> so I was like, yeah, if you want it, I'll totally pick that up. So I um, also picked up some orange juice, some ricotta cheese, four things of cream cheese. We were totally out of that. I normally like to keep about this many on hand because you just never know when you'll need them for a recipe, and they're usually good for quite a ways out. I mean, this without being frozen is good until April. So I usually keep quite a few of them on hand, but I let myself run out. I picked up some string cheese and some lunch meat, a couple things of Monterey Jack cheese, some of the spreadable cheese. Sometimes I put that in my husband's lunches. And then I did pick up some thin sliced chicken breasts. You can see these were $2 off. I picked up this pizza dough. I had never seen this before, but Jennifer from Southern Mama Drama had um, shown it in her haul or in her shop with me or whatever. And I was like, I need to look for that. So I picked that up. We're going to be doing pizzas soon. I uh, picked up an avocado and some grapes, a couple dozen eggs, some butter. Uh, that I'm really low on as well. I don't normally let that happen. Some cheese crackers, some cereal for snacks, some breadcrumbs. I don't normally get my panko breadcrumbs from Aldi, but I wanted to give them a try some tuna and hot sauce, three bags of the bacon pieces, some pepperoni. I got these little flour tortillas because I have a taquito recipe that I was wanting to do, and then I'll find other things to do with the rest of them, and some regular gallon bags. All right, guys, I'm editing this video, and, and I never shared a meal plan or finished the video. So I'm sitting outside on our patio, editing so you can probably hear some birds chirping and jesse is moving rocks in a wheelbarrow but this is where i'm at and he has the day off of work today i'm finishing this the day you should be seeing this video but um i just wanted to say my meal plan i think is going to be some chicken bacon ranch a chicken bacon ranch sheet pan meal some type of chicken taquitos a breakfast of some kind i'm not sure if i'm going to do a breakfast casserole or just like something simple like you know eggs and sausage and then we have some steak in the freezer so i was thinking of doing some steak with sweet potatoes maybe a sweet potato casserole and salad and then we'll have leftovers and stuff like that so that is it i have not been sharing all of my meals lately in like videos just because Either I haven't filmed them or we've just been kind of winging it, but I'm going to try to get back to sharing more of those. If you want to see them, let me know. Do you like the what's for dinner videos or are they okay just kind of mixed in with a vlog, which is kind of what I've been doing mostly. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.